Hey guys, I'm Roxy Teresa and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be creating this makeup look for Valentine's Day. I love how it turned out and I think it's such a good balance because the lips, they speak to me. I love them, they're like a really cute ombre that I think is perfect for Valentine's Day and it looks really girly and stuff but then it creates a nice balance with that dramatic smoky eye that we have on top here and the smoky eye is so easy I literally used three different eyeshadow colors and created this entire eye look so well minus the inner corner highlight but other than that the smoky eye is just so so simple so I'm really excited to show you guys how I get this really easy smoky eye and just overall this Valentine's Day makeup look and I know a lot of you guys like when I use all one brand, so today's video is going to be all Sigma. Um, I have a lot of products from them, and I really wanted to create this lip look because it's so pretty, and I just, I'm living for it, and I really, really do think that it's perfect for Valentine's Day, if you can't tell already. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and once you do that, I mean, no pressure, but if you want to, you can, then let's get into this video. Low-key, I kind of feel like I look like Professor Snape right now, but you know what? We're just, yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna start with the eye primer. So I'm using this Sigma eyeshadow base in the shade Persuade. I'm just gonna pat this into my eye with my finger and then rub it out so it's nice and evenly dispersed. And then I'm gonna be using the Sigma Beauty Smokescreen Eyeshadow Palette, and to set that down, I'm just gonna take this shade right here called Veiled, and start to pat that into the eye from the brow bone to the base of the eyelid with a Sigma Bake Precision P89. I'm gonna keep it pretty cool toned, actually, for this smoky eye, because um, I feel like it's a bit easier to blend black with cool tones, so I'm gonna take this shade right here, it's called Haze, and I'm gonna start to put that into the crease with a Sigma Taper Blending E35. Next up, I'm going to take this really nice gray tone down here called Cinders and start to define the crease just a little bit more with a Sigma Firm Blender E44. Whenever you're doing a smoky eye, you definitely want to start with the lighter shades and then build up, but I find this progression super easy to use a cool tone blending shade and then a gray tone and then a black. It just makes it really, really simple and you still get a beautiful smoky eye at the end. I always like to go back in with my E35 and just make sure everything's really nicely blended out. And then we're gonna take this black shade down here called Almost Jet, and I'm gonna start packing that onto the lid with a Sigma Firm Shader E57. And this is basically our smoky eye, so that's why I was saying it's like a very, very easy smoky eye for beginners. There's only three shades, and this is the best progression that I found to make smoky eyes a piece of cake without looking, you know, like a little panda y. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love pandas, but maybe not for our makeup looks. You just want to keep going in and blending that out with a Sigma E35, and then I'm also using a little bit of the shade Cinder for this step, just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Trust me guys, this really is the easiest smoky eye you will ever come across. Next, I'm going to take my Line Ace... <laughs> my line is liquid liner and I'm just gonna make a really thin line I like to do this because when we're using a black shadow sometimes you know when we add mascara and our lashes on you can see a little space between the skin and the shadow but um because we're gonna add this little thin line of liquid liner it's going to really help in the rest of the process of our makeup application then I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and add on some of this mascara. So this is the Sinuosity Lash from Sigma. <laughs> For a look like this, honestly, any lash will work, so whatever you have on hand will probably do the trick just because with a smoky eye, the main emphasis is on the shadows, not particularly the lashes. You feel? And since we already put down that liquid liner, see, now it makes the lashes look a lot better because our lash line is already super black. So the next step is going to be... Well, the next step is gonna be lower lash line, but I'll be right back because I really want this tutorial to be focused on the eye, so I'm gonna do the face super quick off camera. I just wanna hop back in while I'm doing my concealer. Um, you don't wanna wipe away too much of the uh, smoky, smoked out shadows for this look. You don't want it to be too straight, but um, yeah, just maybe keep that in mind. I mean, I'm using this, uh, it's actually from Sigma. This is the Sigma 3D HD Blender, and I got it at IMATS because they did like an early release there. 
but it makes it really easy to get, you know, around any little corners of the face and especially for this kind of detail work, it just makes it super easy. But it's not out yet, unfortunately. I mean, I think the launch date is coming up. I just looked up and the launch date is February 27th, so um, definitely, I mean, look into it if you would like it because see how easy it makes it to like not make it too stark looking, but it's still very defined. Um, so I'll put a link down below. I know there's like a wait list right now, but you know, if you went to IMAX, you got a little sneak peek like me. Um, but if you don't have, you know, the 3D HD yet, um, I would suggest using this brush. So this is the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer E, oh sorry, F64. And this one will do the same thing. You'll be able to, able to get in there and make just a very soft but defined edge for your shadows. And that's really, really important for this type of look. So um, I know that this one comes in the Best of Sigma brush set and a couple other brush sets. So I'll link those down below for you guys as well if you wanna check those out now since the blender isn't released yet. Okay. I'm gonna carry on. Alrighty, finally back to the eyes. So um, for the lower lash line, I wanna make it super duper smoky just to really complete the look. So first I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and I'm applying this with a Tight Line Liner E16 brush. Then I'm gonna smoke that out with a E30 pencil brush. This doesn't have any product on it right now. I'm literally just smoking out that gel liner. And not only are we going to smoke it out just like that, I also want to add some of the shades that we use on the top. So particularly the gray and the um, this little transition shade, it was called Haze. So first I'm gonna take cinders on the exact same brush and do the same thing smoking out that lower lash line. Then right underneath that, I'm taking haze and doing the same thing. And you always want to connect the inner corner to the outer corner for this step to make the eye look complete. Then I'm going to take the exact same mascara and just go over the bottom lashes to really complete the look. <laughs> I'm lucky my lashes... <gasps> no. Oh, thank God. Oh my gosh, that mascara got onto my hair and I totally thought it was going to get onto my face makeup. But <laughs> crisis averted, people. Crisis averted okay so um what i was saying though is my lash my bottom lashes are like randomly really long they're longer than my top i think um but if you wanted to add lower lashes i think it adds something really special to the look and again it just makes it look as complete as possible so the next step i mean while we're here i might as well just show you guys kind of like what blush coloring and what lip coloring that i would pair with a smoky eye like this because the smoky eye is kind of done i hope you guys like it I really like it and I mean it's just so easy so it's kind of just a go-to but for blush I would highly recommend going with something um, pretty subtle or pretty pale I would say so I like stuff like this coloring um, this is the aura powder in the shade pet name and it does have a bit of a peachy undertone so that's gonna bring out the warmth in our skin which again I really like so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with a Sigma powder blush f10 and you know me we got to get our uh, highlight pop in even for a really dramatic smoky eye I still want a glowing highlight so I'm first gonna go in in with a cream highlight highlight and then a powder because that's what's really going to give us that glow from outer space. So this is the Sigma Brilliant Shimmer Cream and I'm just going to dot that onto my cheekbone, especially focusing on the high point with my ring finger. Whoa, this is pigmented. Okay, Sigma, we see you. And then over top of that, I'm going to be going in with this single eyeshadow from Sigma. So this is in the shade Versailles. And honestly, if you don't have a powder highlighter, you can always use, you know, a really pretty eyeshadow that looks like a highlighter shade. I always recommend doing that. And it's a great way to save money too, just to buy like an eyeshadow and use it as highlighter or to buy a highlighter and use it as eyeshadow. I'm also taking that same shade down the center of the nose on the cupid's bow. And on the inner corner and I'm applying that with a Sigma shader inner corner E46 and then as far as lip color goes whenever I do a smoky eye like this I personally like to stick with nudes um, or just you know something very neutral just because that will kind of balance out the look but first I'm gonna go in with this lip concealer it's called lose the halo and this is gonna help moisturize our lips while still canceling out the color concealer lips or oh, no nah. I think yes um but now we can go ahead and uh, line our lips so oh 
<laughs> I accidentally pulled off the back, which I didn't know this, but it's a sharpener in case you are wondering. But um, this is the Power Liner in the shade Carnation. Then to top off the lips, I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Beauty Lip Eclipse in the shade Seal of Approval. This is basically like a liquid lipstick, but it has a um, shiny finish. Normally I might go with something even more on the nude side, but because it's a uh, Valentine's Day, I don't know, I kind of am feeling a little bit more on the girly side today, so I wanted to go with something more on the baby pink side. And this is our finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really, really love how it turned out and I think it's so perfect for Valentine's Day. I mean, this lip though, okay, okay. I really think that it is like, it's Valentine's Day in a lip color and I love that it kind of like made an ombre but I also think that the dramatic smoky eye creates a nice contrast for the look and it adds a little bit more you know sex appeal into the look um, just having that really nice and smoked out eye area but hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and if you guys recreate it I'd love to see so make sure to tag me on Instagram it's just at Roxetarisa or Twitter also the same Roxetarisa or Snapchat which is actually Rox93 I know it's different because I can't change it now but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed remember you are beautiful inside and out I love you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day and um oh one more thing I will be sure to link all of the products and brushes down below in case you guys want to see and um I'll put like a discount code yeah I definitely have one for Sigma so I'll put one down there for you guys as well to save some money and yeah that is gonna be it for me I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye